This is the Wikipedia article on disruptive eye mask. Disruptive eye masks are camouflage markings that conceal the eyes of an animal from its predators or prey. They are used by prey to avoid being seen by predators and by predators to help them approach their prey. The eye has a distinctive shape and dark coloration dictated by its function, and it is housed in the vulnerable head, making it a natural target for predators. It can be camouflaged by a suitable disruptive pattern arranged to run up to or through the eye, sometimes forming a camouflage eye stripe. The illusion is completed in some animals by a false eye or false head somewhere else on the body, in a form of automimicry. Disruptive eye masks are seen on a variety of animals, both invertebrates such as grasshoppers and vertebrates, including fish, frogs, birds, and snakes. Eye masks were first noticed by the American artist Abbott Henderson Thayer in 1909 and analyzed extensively by the zoologist Hugh Cott in 1940. However, in 2005, the evolutionary zoologist Tim Carrow could still observe that the assumption that eye masks served as camouflage had not been tested systematically. This article contains four sections, only the first two of which are in this recording. The sections are 1. History, 2. Pattern, 3. References, and 4. Sources. 1. History. The American artist Abbott Henderson Thayer mentioned the masking of the eyes of birds and mammals in his 1909 book, Concealing Coloration in the Animal Kingdom, stating that this was found mainly in birds, such as plovers, and predatory mammals. He noted that it is very effective as it completely breaks the eye's otherwise conspicuous circular or oval outline. The zoologist Hugh Cott identified the value of concealing the eye in his 1940 book, Adaptive Coloration in Animals. He notes the, open quote, inherent conspicuousness of an eye spot, close quote, which, quote, stands out from everything else and rivets the attention, close quote, making the point with a diagram containing one small eye spot and many larger features. The eye spot immediately attracts the viewer's attention. The image has been used elsewhere, for example in Tim Newark's 2007 book on camouflage, where Newark noted that Cott's image proved the point as, quote, the eye of a vertebrate with its dense black pupil stands out from the most jumbled backgrounds, as Cott's illustration demonstrates, close quote. Cott argued that, quote, no scheme of camouflage will be completely effective which does not mask or modify the appearance of the eye." Close quote. He mentioned, as beautiful examples of face patterns that achieved this, the swamp viper and the gaboon viper. In his words, quote, The disruptive value of a pattern lies in its tendency to hide the real form of an animal by suggesting a false form to the eye. So long as the false configuration is recognized in preference to the real one, concealment will be affected." End quote. Cott described disruptive eye masks as a special case of a coincident disruptive pattern, one that provides camouflage by joining together parts of the body to create a new appearance which contradicts the actual structures present. On camouflage eye stripes, he noted that, quote, more or less well-defined ocular bands or stripes, close quote, are found in many species of birds, including the nuthatch, snipe, wimbrel, ringed plover, and turnstone. And he thought it significant that these patterns were associated with active young that leave the nest early, as in the ringed plover. He recorded that what appear to be markings of similar significance are found in mammals such as Gimsbok, Sable Antelope, Grant's Gazelle, and Vizcacha. In 1989, J.L. Cloudsley Thompson noted that camouflage eye stripes are also found in many reptiles, including the slender arboreal vine snakes, numerous tropical fish such as the angelfish and garfish, and a wide variety of amphibians, including the common frog. 
The evolutionary zoologist Tim Carrow observed in 2005 that, quote, the whole topic of disruptive coloration needs systematic analysis, close quote. Carrow noted that in mammals, quote, no systematic tests of this idea are available, close quote, but that dark patches around the eyes, which would tend to draw attention to the eye instead of camouflaging it, are associated with grassland and terrestrial carnivores, as well as riparian animals, suggesting the function of reducing glare, or perhaps of aposematism, which is the advertising by an animal to potential predators that it is not worth attacking or eating. Section 2. Pattern. G.W. Barlow, noting Cott's examples, analyzed fish eye lines in 1972, finding a relationship between angle of line and both body shape and the angle of the forehead. He found that fast swimming species had longitudinal lines and long bodies. Deep bodied fish had vertical bars and had the ability to turn abruptly. Many barred patterns were, in his opinion, quote, obviously an adaptation for crypsis or camouflage, close quote. He concluded that stripes and bars were both social signals and anti-predator adaptations. In 1981, Lee and Benjamin Gavish tested patterns that conceal birds' eyes using patterns and human observers. They found that patterns which allow the eye to protrude from the dark area concealed the eye best, calling this the borderline eye effect. Some animals, such as butterfly fish, combine the camouflaging of the eye with an eye spot somewhere else on the body, possibly giving the impression that the animal's head is located there. In 2013, Karim Kiansmo and Sami Merileita showed using artificial prey and predatory fish, three-spined sticklebacks, that such eye spots diverted predators' attacks from the vulnerable head. There is then a gallery of nine pictures giving examples. The captions are as follows. An elegant grass-mimicking grasshopper has stripes that join head and eye to the body. The jacked knife fish has a strongly disruptive pattern on body and through the eye. The eye of the spot nape butterfly fish is concealed by a bold eye stripe. In the four eye butterfly fish, eye stripe camouflage is combined with a conspicuous eye spot near the tail. The tail spot butterfly fish is conspicuously colored, but its eye is camouflaged and the tail has a false eye, adding to the illusion by distracting predators' attention from the head. The common frog has a disruptively patterned body and an eye stripe concealing the eye. The Eurasian nuthatch has a stripe joining the beak, eye, and body. The Mexican vine snake has a dark, strongly contrasting eye stripe to conceal the eye. The gemsbok, or South African oryx, a large antelope, has a disruptive facial mask that obscures the eye. This concludes the Wikipedia article on disruptive eye mask. This recording and all underlying text is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License 3.0.